Hi, everyone. This is a little dark. Let me turn on this light. Hold on a minute. <clears throat> is that better? Yeah. Okay, this is a whole other thing. This is the web stream uh, thing on the iMac. I couldn't come up with the Google Hangouts. It didn't open up for some reason. So everything was different. So I hope this is, it says it is live and that I'm streaming. So one thing about this is the chat is right here next to me. I don't have to get it on my iPad, I don't think. So I will see how this is. This may be a lot better. Um, I went uh, sourcing yesterday. The video that was on yesterday, I put it on late last night. Uh, this video was supposed to be at the end of that one. However, it took forever for that to download onto my computer. Um, it just, it took hours. So by the time it got, I was ready for bed by the time it finally, I got it up. So uh, I decided to do this. I was too tired to do this uh, last night. So I just waited till today. Uh, I'll show you what I got yesterday when I uh, thrifted at the Brunswick Goodwill. Uh, this is just sort of an add-on to the one, <laughs> the one yesterday that when I went to see my horses first, and then I did that uh, short little uh, thing. I did film in the store a little bit, so that's yesterday's. So. Uh, I had a bit very, very busy morning this morning. I've been, let's see, where have I been? Here's my list. <laughs> I went to the bank. I had to see my bank guy and give him a couple papers. I went to Target, the CVS, picked up a prescription. I got my car washed, much needed. Uh, that was a free car wash I got. I got it in the mail a free car wash to this new place. It was really nice. It's brand new. It was a little scary to go through. Uh, but it did a really nice job. Then I went to Coinstar in the grocery store, and I had my big jar of coins and stuck it through the Coinstar thing and came out with $70 worth of coins. So I got my $70. Uh, while I was in Target getting my prescription, I also picked up the couple things I needed at the grocery store, so then I didn't have to stop at Aldi's. Yeah, it was a little more expensive at Target, but it saved me a trip to Aldi's, so I saved some time. The only thing I didn't do was I need gas. I have a quarter tank, uh, so I need to get gas next time I go out. So let me get started on this haul video. Uh, I still have my uh, Starbucks here. So I'll show you the shoes I got first. I got a couple pairs of shoes, well three. Uh, I got this pair of heels. Yes, they look big because they are. They're a size 11. Women's 11. I never heard of this brand, but I looked it up. It's made in the United States. It's called Monroe. Uh, proper size, perfect fit is what they call it. These look almost new. They've hardly ever been worn, if they've been worn at all. They're a dark navy blue and sort of a slip-on uh, heel, like a work shoe. You know, they remind me of school te old school teacher shoes. <laughs> That's not what school teachers look like anymore. But when I was little, this would look like school teacher shoes. But uh, nice work shoes for under, uh, you know, trousers or uh, dress pants. So I got those. And I saw this uh, when I was filming. You'll see me pull out this pair of shoes. Born. Born sells for me really well. Uh, they, they, 
born sells good. Clark sell good too, but born sells better, I think. So these are in really good condition. They're just a slip-on clog brown. And these, I think, are a seven. These are a seven. So not too bad. And these cute little heels, I think those are really cute. I hope the light's good enough. These are sort of a maroon, dark maroon color. Uh, they have a zipper on the side to open up to get into them. And they have wear on the bottom, but not bad at all. That's mostly dirt. And uh, they're size eight, eight medium. And they're by Bella Vita. Bella Vita. I'd never heard of them, but I looked it up, up and they're going uh, usually between $30, $35, $40. So I was glad to find those. Okay, those are the shoes that I got. Now, I'll show you the heart. I You'll see in the video I got this cup. This is for me, though. Look, it has this, nice, this chicken where you can put your thumb. It makes it really comfortable. I didn't see when I got home, though, I didn't see that this is, uh, it's made by Department 56. And it's not recommended for microwave, and you're supposed to hand wash it. So we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> a lot of times I have to warm up my coffee, but uh, I can use it in the summertime for iced tea or whatever. I think it's really cute. So I got that. And then because I listened to a YouTube video about selling mugs, I saw this mug. Now, this is called a diner uh, diner mugs they're that heavy heavy uh ceramic ware and this is a brand called uh design pack incorporated i saw this one with the ice skates just this little picture of ice skates on it and then in the back i saw this one the same same brand with snowshoes so they're like a pair. So when I looked them up, they were selling pretty good, but there's actually in this set, there was a set of four and they were all wintry type things like, like these. I think one was skis. I'm not sure what the other one was, but there was, there's four in the set. I only have two, but uh, they were going pretty good. They are heavy though, heavy to ship. So we'll see. I'm just trying things here and there in the hard goods department. Uh, okay, let's get to the clothes. <clears throat> I like this print. I like this uh, beige and red plaid. That's what drew me to look at it. And it's a polo golf, even though it's long sleeve and it's kind of heavy. But, you know, golfers, they golf in any kind of weather. My son has even golfed in the snow. <laughs> uh, this is Marlowe is the style. It's 100% cotton, and it's a large. So it's a long sleeve, polo, uh, Ralph Lauren, men's shirt. So I like that one. And it does have the tag on here and the buttons. But the buttons have been stapled to the to it. So I don't know if somebody, if this is actually the real tag. It's a strange place to put a tag. But it does have it uh, on here, a tag. So I don't know if I can say new with tags. I, I doubt it. I don't think I would do that. But <clears throat> it's almost new. Okay, here's a uh, Joseph A. Bank Reserve. And I got this because of the size. It's a 17 and a half, 34 sleeve. And it's non-wrinkled and a tailored fit, with, which is more of a slimmer, slimmer fit. And it is 
uh, I wish you would call it cuffs. <laughs> uh, and they have the little marker things here that you can use. French cuffs. That's it. French cuffs. The red tags, which this was, and the other, the other, I think the other one was too, was the half price. So these were half price. So they were like, uh, I think men's shirts are three fifty. So half of that. So this is a very nice print, uh, little window pane plaid print. These blue shirts do, I think, the best color of all the shirts, dress shirts. And I did look in the dresses. It was one of the last things I looked in. And by that time, I, my back was killing me. And But I'm glad I went over there and looked. The dresses hang higher, and it's hard for me to see. But this dress is by Philosophy, which I know from Jennifer. That's a good brand. It's an anthropology brand. This is medium. It's just a really loose fitting uh, sh shift. I think there's a sheath and a shift. I think the sheath is more, a little more fitted, and the sheath is just, you know, really loose fitting. So uh, it has a sort of an Aztec design on it too, which is nice. So this blue, sort of denim -y color color is cotton, or tinsel it is. So that was a good find. Then I found another anthropology brand. This is Poetry. And this is a size medium, rayon and polyester. Good for summer. This really crepey type of uh, fabric and has elastic uh, around the waist. <clears throat> Real cool looking top. And then I got this. Uh, this is. Brooks Brothers, extra large, uh, performance polo, original fit. It's just a polo shirt, but it's nice colors for summer. And it has the fleece insignia there on the uh, front. Nice colors. So I picked that up. <clears throat> And a pair of Adidas men's like basketball shorts. These are long shorts. And it has this insignia, which I'm not sure what this is. Does anybody know what that means? <laughs> I don't know if that's a team or, or what it is, but it's a Adidas large men's uh, player is the style number, like basketball shorts, in this blue color. Also in the dresses, I found this is new with tags. A sleeveless dress. This had been in Marshalls, but the uh, I'll cut the Marshalls tag off, but because it, it has the original Tommy Hilfiger tag on it, and this was priced at ninety nine dollars. But it's a nice uh, dress. It has a little bit of flare at the bottom hem that it makes it ruffle out a little bit, not much, but a little bit. The tag has Tommy Hilfiger emblem on it. And it's a newer Tommy tag inside, which is the uh, narrow one. And it's a size 12. Just a nice dress. You could pair this with any black jacket or any uh, 
uh, ivory type jacket, black. If he could match the blacks, he could uh, make, I don't know, maybe this came with a jacket, but it doesn't look, by the tag, it doesn't look like it did. It just looks like this is for the dress. So, two nice finds in the dress department. Oh, something else I got. When I was looking at the hard goods, I saw these old playing cards. I have no idea if they're all there. The boxes are in terrible shape. Two aviator. These are only eight, uh, a dollar or 80, 50 cents or whatever they were. This is a bicycle one, pinochle card, pinochle, and a mohawk. One reason I got these is because I have over there, right there, is a card shuffling, an automatic card shuffler. My, my cards, my playing cards are in drawers that are blocked by that table. I can't get to the cards. So one reason I got these was to, to see if the shuffler works. It'll shuffle a bunch of cards. So first I'm going to count the cards and see what they're, what kind of shape they're in and whatever. That was just sort of a fun buy. I don't know if they're worth anything uh, at all. Okay. I sort of put all these in two bags. They have been in three, but uh, it's really not that many. I spent, here's my receipt. I spent $47 and got 25 items. So remember those cards, that's four right there. So, but $47, I didn't figure out how much that would be a piece. Uh, in the men's jeans, these are like new and they are by Duluth Trading Company really good work brand clothing for men. And this, uh, these were a bigger size. These certainly will not fit in a padded flat rate, I'll tell you that. They are a size 44-32. So just a really nice pair of uh, men's work pants. These uh, are really in perfect condition. Those. No, I just picked up. This is a uh, small, it's just a Harry Potter t shirt. Most anything Harry Potter is pretty good still to buy. And if my daughter, if my uh, granddaughter, Ava, if you happen to watch this, let me know if you, if you want me to save uh, either one of these. These are extra small. This is by Pink. Still has a tag on this one. And these are their uh, ones about recycling. The grass is greener. Uh, it says, love your planet. You know, so here's a sort of pink coral one with the V-neck. has a little dog on it. And there's another one in here, too. A gray one. Extra small. This, this has a regular neck on it. It just says, love pink but it's in that same uh, type of uh, save your planet type thing. So those are extra small, Ava. If you want them, give me a call. 
or a comment or something. Okay, I got this. This is a J. Crew, which is sort of bread and butter now, but it's still a really I like J. Crew a lot. Uh, 100% cotton. This is a medium. It's just uh, pink. It has these uh, these flowers are sewn on with the rough edges on it, like a raw edge. Raw edge on whatever that is. I guess it's supposed to be some sort of flower type thing. But that's why I got this. Sort of different. <coughs> And here is, this is by Chico's, I'm pretty sure. Chico's size two. This is a, like a sweater vest. It's open like a, not a vest, a cardigan, a sleeveless cardigan vest, I guess. But it has this, the front has this uh, like fringy, fringe stuff on it. So you have a vest. An open cardigan, sweater, and fringe. <laughs> Chico size two in this red. Not exactly a spring color, but. And my last thing, I think it's my last thing, but I have a couple more things I'm going to show you. Uh, Jamie Saddock, which I sell every time I put it on. This is a wild, wild print. It always has some metal stuff on it. And this has uh, these metal button down collars. It has a zipper. Uh, it's almost like a polo shirt. And some metal detailing and a little pocket right here on the sleeve, on the uh, left sleeve. Yeah, left sleeve. <laughs> so <clears throat> I always pick up Jamie Sack, anything, shorts, tops, whatever. <clears throat> so that, I believe, is what I got on the haul yesterday. I think I've shown you everything. But uh, the night before I went shopping, I had run out of things to list and you know then I go looking around my house and I found these two evening bags. They're vintage because I'm vintage. Uh, satin inside. These are like for brides or any formal wear but they're white this ivory color. They're in perfect, perfect condition. No missing beads, no missing sequins. Perfect condition. That one is a clutch, a little clutch. I'm going to sell. And this other one is mostly sequ more sequins, but it has some beading too. And the shoulder strap is all beads. This is all beaded. It's also in perfect condition. It has a zipper, uh, zipper top. And inside, it was sold in Winkleman's, which was a store down in Cleveland, downtown Cleveland. Or I guess they were, it finally was in the malls too. But it's not around anymore. Winkleman's is the store this was sold in. So those two evening purses are going to, uh, I'm going to put up for sale. And those were mine. Uh, they were not my wedding purses. I don't know what I got those for. Uh, maybe they were in my antique shop. They could have been. But they are... Uh, they are well over 20 years old, I'll tell you that. Oh, Nick and Andrea, hi. I'm so glad to see you. And Sue, 
Yes, you're here. <laughs> Nick and Andrea are the ones I listen to from Britain. So glad you joined me. And Patriot, thanks. You like the purses. Yeah, they are beautiful. But uh, unfortunately, when I look them up, they don't go for all that much. But <clears throat> I decided I would sell them. I don't think I'll be using them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm liking this this stream. If Obviously, people are getting it because they're on the chat. Because I don't have to fiddle around with my iPad to get it up on there. It's showing right on my screen. So this is much better if this is something new from uh, YouTube. I like it. <laughs> so uh, like I said, yesterday I went to the barn. Then I had to do a bunch of stuff. Came home or went to the thrift store. Came home and couldn't get my darn uh, video for my phone to get onto my computer. It was taking forever. I don't know what the problem is. Sometimes it goes on much faster than other times. But it's so much easier to do a live chat. Uh, I'm doing good. I had a couple days last week I didn't feel good at all, so then I don't uh, do any videoing for sure. But I feel good today. And uh, that's about it for my haul. Uh, Nick, I sold two board games last week, and I did buy those. Remember, I did buy those because I listened to you all the time talking about all your board games, so I thought I'd try it. And so I did sell two and got an offer on another one. So we'll see. It is a lot of work to do board games. So much work uh, as far as listing in figuring out if they're complete or not, you know. But uh, so much more work than clothes. And then you have to figure out the shipping. <laughs> so much different than selling clothes. But I'm going to try these little niches to learn, you know, how to do more things. So thank you, Nick. Andrea, I like your uh, time, your, your YouTube things with the girls. I enjoy that. So I'm going to close for now and uh, hope this goes on Well, it's obviously on. So uh, I hope I, this comes up again. You know, you never know when you go on YouTube what they're going to change. And it just took me through a loop when my uh, Hangout, Google Hangouts didn't come on when I hit, you know, hit my uh, site. But I like this better. Bye for now. Till the next haul. Bye. Oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't want to end quite yet. Because it always says to please ask for, uh, for you to subscribe. But see, I don't see the subscribe button on here. That's one thing. Huh. I don't see the subscribe button. And there's not my little subscribe thing here. Here in the... Uh, right there it used to be. Say subscribe that you could click on it. So I'll have to look into that. I'm not sure. Patriot says, yes, the values have dropped on the purses he's talking about over the years. Price them high and let them ride for a while. Advice is from an ex eBay seller. Yeah. Okay, I will do that. A lot of my things are long tails, tail things. Uh, so I'm really going to close for now. Okay. Bye.